What's up everybody, this is Derek here. Just wanted to make a quick update video because there are some concerns that the magnetic chargers are overcharging batteries slightly. Um, so I just wanted to demonstrate that, you know, these, these are two different chargers from two different production batches. One of them, yeah, as you can see, you know, both of the lights uh, were charging and they're fully charged. So that's why when I powered up the power bank, they turn green within a few seconds. So you can see both of these S1Rs are fully charged. And like I said, one of these is, one of these chargers is probably about a month and a half old. The other one's a couple of days old. So we are going to take a look at the voltage. So you can see here, this is just a normal multimeter. Uh, it's set to DC volts. It's probably not, it's not as accurate as a fluke would be, but I mean, it's, it's decent enough. So we're going to do is we're going to pop out the batteries and again uh, full they're not technically being overcharged per se uh, some people are saying that they're being charged as high as 4.25 volts now some lithium batteries these batteries are usually charged to 4.1 to 4.2 volts somewhere in there is like a good full charge uh, 4.2 volts will give you better capacity at the expense of reduced cycle life 4.1 will give you a lot more cycles anyways um some drones, for example, like the DJI Phantoms, charge the batteries to 4.3 volts per cell, but they don't recommend that you leave it there for more than a couple days. So the concern here would be someone would leave this flashlight on the charger, it stays at whatever voltage, and then as a result, the battery is slowly damaged over time because it's above 4.2 volts. So we can see here, this, this battery is 4.2 volts exactly 4.19, 4.2, so that's perfect. And again, there's probably some natural variation um, to the chargers. And then let's see what this one's at. And this one's at 4.22. I'm taking our reading, 4.23, 4.22. It's probably 4.225 or something like that. So it's bouncing a little between that. So again, I just wanna give you my two cents. Um, again, these are just two random chargers, two random magnetic chargers from different Olight S1Rs, and you can see there's some variation. One of them charges, it seems, to the perfect voltage of 4.2 volts, and then one of them charges slightly over that. So again, if you're curious and you have a multimeter, you might wanna just pop open your your um, your flashlight, whether it be a you know S1R, uh, S2R, or whatever, or any other future light that uses this magnetic charger, and just check what it's terminating at. Again, I don't think it's a cause for concern necessarily, but even 4.23 volts over the life cycle of the battery will lead to reduced cycle life. So again, whereas a battery might get 300 charge cycles, this one might only get 200 or something like that. Again, I don't think it's a massive difference, but uh, my main concern here would be if someone else received a charger that is charging them to 2.0 or 4.26 or 4.3 or something like that. So again, it seems like there's some variation in the charging circuitry here or the uh, the cutoff point. So again, it's just something you might want to look into. Thanks for watching. Stay, subs uh, stay subscribed to this channel for more interesting videos. And I hope to see you guys again soon.